All right, hello. Welcome back, everyone. I want to play as Uruguay. Uruguay in Victoria 2 is what some geopolitical analysts would call the classic example of a failed state. I didn't do this. Uh, this is all meatball eating Swedish paradox game developers. So I take no credit for this. Uruguay is very small. It being small in population wouldn't be that much of a problem because we're in the new world, but it being small in physical size is. For every province that exists in the game, they produce a certain resource. So an RGO, resource gathering operation is what that stands for. As a large nation, your economy is naturally going to be very diversified because you're going to have a lot of different provinces with a lot of different things in them. Uruguay is not like that. Uruguay has exactly four provinces and those four provinces produce two things, cattle and wool. Wool is literally the worst resource in the game. And then there's cattle. Now, if you can build a nation off of nothing but sheep and cows, then you have solved the, <laughs> the conundrum of Uruguay. But as it stands, we don't produce much of anything. So as you can see, we're not making any money. Your pops and your nation have certain needs that they need to fulfill. There are life needs, there are everyday needs, and there are luxury needs. So fundamental needs to survive, needs to be happy, needs to be very comfortable. If people are not getting their needs, then their militancy grows. So as you can see here, we have some afro caribino artisans living in Montevideo. Their militancy is just rising. Their militancy is just going up. Same for these soldiers. And the things they need are very basic stuff. Their everyday needs, we don't have any of that. God knows we don't have any luxury needs. This is kind of a double-edged sword. The good thing about that, though, is that we can pass a ton of reforms. So you get a ton of immigrants, but the immigrants can't leave. So people come to your country, they start starving, they seek to pass more reforms, and continue to starve, and they can't leave. Uruguay has become the black hole of South America. Because they get so many pops, typically, by the end of the game, Uruguay will be the one of the biggest cattle producers on the planet. So this is our old Haiti game. Uruguay has a pop chain of 3.61 million, and Montevideo is the most productive cattle producing province in the world. I thought that these ships would actually get reinforced, but it looks like they're not being reinforced. I think it might be best just to use this one ship to transport our troops over to Africa and like attack Oman, take Somalia or something right now. Okay. <laughs> this is so scuffed, man. We have a lot of debt in this country from transporting our troops to Africa, but that's okay. <laughs> that's just fine. Oh no. Uh, oh, oh, we're bankrupt. All right, we're gonna justify on Oman here. And of course we will attack Omani Somaliland. I don't think our army is much better than the Somalian army considering how much they're being paid. Let's see if we can win this war. Oh, oh my God. Oh no, the liberals got in charge. This is not good. This is so not good. Oh my God. I decided to just peace out for Somaliland. Apparently we, got, we have craftsmen? We have craftsmen. How do we have craftsmen? Oh, they're all immigrants. That's great. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. All right, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing, there's nothing that can be done in this situation. Oh, why'd they just disappear? And they're gone. They just disappeared. How? Why? I'm not mad, but <laughs> it's a little strange. All right, we've successfully completed all political reforms. All right, we build the Navy, we go to China. That's the plan right now. You all hate it, <laughs> but, but that's the way you play Victoria 2. You build a Navy and go to China. Oh, no! No! <laughs> no! You were the chosen one, Anakin. And these guys are Uruguayan reactionaries themselves. It's just reactionaries all the way down. Oh no. And then there, there are more reactionaries rising up in Mogadishu. I don't know what's gonna happen here. There are more. The entire population of Mogadishu are becoming horrible reactionaries. 
We're going all in on Brunei. That's what we're doing. I mean, look at our country. 40% of our upper class, of our aristocrats, are not getting any of their life needs. Half of our normal people, the farmers, are not getting their life needs. We got, we got land, ladies and germs. We got some land. And healthcare. Woohoo. So I think we should be okay to attack China. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know what? Sure, man. Take it. Be my guest. Asshole. <laughs> I hope you choke on it. Oh my god, look at how much money we're making, though. No, oh, finally. They gave it to us, boys. Now is where the fun really begins. And now we are making money. Oh my god, we're receiving three times the immigrants that, uh, that Brazil is. <laughs> Japanese. A quarter, a quarter of our craftsmen are Japanese. They, they are not assimilating into our country. That's for damn sure. Dude, it's all turn around after we get Taiwan. I'm telling you. The doors just start opening as soon as that single event happens. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna just conquer Vietnam. This is another classic move. Look at that color. No one's even gonna notice. They're gonna have to, they're all gonna get new maps and, and the maps are gonna be one shade different. They're gonna say, this is a horrible scam, what you've done to us here. And there we are. <laughs> you didn't even, it's impossible for you to notice. If you notice this change, I, I don't believe you. You're a liar. China did westernize. They're not coming to my country. They're going to Brazil and the United States. Oh, that's scary. That's scary. Oh, no. Yeah, China is going full monster mode over here. I don't know if anyone's noticed. And uh, I'm next. <laughs> All of our craftsmen are Dutch, <laughs> as it turns out. <laughs> what a great game this is. See, how, how do we get these Dutch people to start assimilating? I have no idea. We love the new apartment. The natural light is amazing. Hardwood floors. There is a bit of a clogging problem. I really feel like we could win a war with China. All right, so I'm gonna go in. Oh, there's a great war going on. Oh, how delightful. We have our own great war to deal with here, bucko. Oh my God. Insane battle. Insane battle. See, I picked the best time to go to war, which is the time when the military goods are at their most expensive. So my troops aren't reinforcing, but the Chinese troops are not reinforcing either. So that's great. Let's see if they will give us Guangdong as well. So the, the Uruguayan Chinese War of Honor is over. Also, these are stupid cheap. Like, I'm, it's incredible. They're willing to give it to us, even though we are horribly losing uh, long term. All right, this is going to be a horrible border gore. But Kao Ganjiao here is the closest coal province. That's what we're going for. Oh my god. This is the difference that gas attack makes. Are you seeing this? Oh my god. What is... Th I don't even know what is going on. See, I really like playing as these nations that start out small and then I like invading China because starting from nothing and then doing this it, it feels good like look at this look at this encirclement tens of thousands the AI and all of its hubris always rushes in to try and make the most of gaps in the front line but then you can just encircle them very easily and it is quite epic all right, now I don't have the most confidence in the world that China will be able to come back from this. So we'll just piece them out. Beautiful borders as always. Oh no. And there we are. The Uruguayan communists have pushed forth their demands. Oh my God. Oh, oh hello, hello there. there. <laughs> oh, we're great power. You know what that means. <laughs> Establish protectorate on Yan'an. Just a short war over, and <laughs> oh my god. Oh, here it goes again. We <laughs> just get the socialists in charge all over again. Don't even get me started on the fact that all of our craftsmen are not even of our culture. 
you know what? Let's do some chaos. Let's do something chaotic here. Close. 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 If you want me to get out of great power, I'll get out of great power. I say no factories. No factories. What are you gonna do? You know, if you people would just assimilate, none of this would be a problem. Oh, look! Oh my, wait. So, because I did that, are the right wing people now gonna win? Because now nobody has a job? Oh, come on, that would be so funny. And now, now we have the conservatives and the reactionaries in charge. Isn't it funny? That's so weird. We, we, we made them all unemployed and they all decided, you know what? Screw the socialists. The population of Uruguay is 4.26 million. And a third of them are soldiers? What is happening? You're a killer! Sir, yes, sir! Let me see your war face! Sir, you got a war face? That's a war face! Now let me see your war face! Bullshit! You didn't convince me! Let me see your real war face! You don't scare me! Work on it! Is it because all the craftsmen became soldiers after I closed the factories down? What happens if we just do a little tiny baby uh, acquire state against Brazil? This is the most population dense city in like the Western Hemisphere. What happens? If we conquer Rio Grande do Sul, right? Because it is not as densely, like even all these provinces are like 600,000, 600,000, 600,000. And these are like, you know, a couple hundred thousand at most. Okay, and then they'll piece us out. Yes, give us the state. <laughs> That's, I don't like that. I don't like how that looks. Dude, we've owned this for like five minutes. And it's 5% planted in already. We just got a core on Pelotas. Hey, we won football. <laughs> in our units being built section, we have the same size military as what exists on the field. Okay. And it's all from the capital. Montevideo, 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 Montevideo. Do you, do you want to just sit here and watch as, as this little as this little part gets bigger and bigger? This province in South America is more dense than any of the Chinese land we own. The only city that even comes close to the capital of Uruguay is London. I wonder, now that we just removed Argentina from the American sphere, I wonder if we can grab a war goal. Alright, so what, let's, let's do it. Look at these provinces. They were so underpopulated for so long as soon as i annex it like swedish polish chinese i wonder if if our our cherry on top of the cake could be paraguay all right paraguay you are my final act oh there that's okay you know what nicer borders i gotta say i mean look at this it's 30 like we conquered this like how many years ago and it's already 31 percent plantinia it is December 6th, 1935. In less than 30 days, the game ends. As you can see, Uruguay is a very interesting place. A third, a third of this is soldier pops. Rio Grande do Sol is like a third Plantinian, even though we conquered it like five years ago. We are the seventh great power. No, oh, Sweden got to eighth great power by the end of the game. Good job, Sweden. Yeah, we were the second military. Yeah, we're, we're not even on the industrial score. Oh, we are. We're of Romania and Sokoto. Yeah, we, we got all these brigades, but it was impossible to make them all. It was possible to build them all. We, we had the most ships, but they weren't good ships. I mean, we, we're not even the most in any of these categories. That's so sad. Actually, I can think of one. Yep. <laughs> most soldiers. Four million soldiers. There were like just over 200 capitalists in the entire country that's cursed i can't i can't deal with that man if you like this video leave a like subscribe if you'd like to see any more in the future comment down below what kinds of countries or games you want me to play next 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.